In this lesson, we will find the radius of this circle given a chord and a perpendicular bisector. All right, Anastasio sent me this problem asking, can it be solved with a compass and straight edge? Um, I had to respond that unfortunately I don't know. Um, I'm not familiar with constructions. Um, that's a gap in my knowledge base. Um, they didn't teach that at my school way, way back in the day when I was a kid. Um, however, for what it's worth, I am going to go ahead and solve it algebraically, which um, might, maybe nobody cares, um, since that's not what I was being asked. But I figured I would do what I can do, just in case. All right, so the way we would solve this algebraically is um, we're looking for the radius. So um, that means we're looking for this guy right here. I think I'm going to make it pink. All right, so we're looking for that. Um, let's just go ahead and call it R. OK, now um, that's the radius, but we could draw another radius up in this area. OK. And uh, let's see, I think I'll make this one green. OK, so that's another radius. But as you can see, because of the way the perpendicular bisector is, um, that's sort of split up into two different parts. So part of it is 3. So this part right here, um, we could call it, you know, if, if the uh, whole green is, of course, R, just like the pink is R, then this portion right here will be R minus 3, okay? Because we're taking, taking away the 3. So um, that leaves us with a right triangle um, with legs 5, R minus 3, and hypotenuse R. So you can probably guess that I'm about to do the Pythagorean theorem. So if we do the Pythagorean theorem, which would be um, r minus 3 squared plus 5 squared is equal to the radius squared. r minus 3 squared is r minus 3 times r minus 3. OK, of course, 5 squared is 25 is equal to r squared. All right, if we FOIL this or use the double distributive property, whichever way you like to look at it, um, we are going to get r squared minus 3r minus 3r plus 9 from that. And then we're bringing down the plus 25 is equal to r squared. So that's going to be r squared minus 6r plus OK, putting these together, that's going to be 34 equals r squared. Now, um, notice we have r squared on both sides. So when we go to subtract r squared from both sides, um, they both cancel out. So that leaves us with negative 6r plus 34 is equal to 0. All right, um, to keep everything positive, I'm going to add 6r to both sides. OK, so that's going to give me 34 is equal to 6r. So to get the uh, radius by itself, I would divide both sides by 6. OK, that will leave us with the radius. Um, all right, now let me just squeeze this in over here. So we find that the radius is, and if we just reduce this, that'll be 17 over 3. Uh, and that's it. That is how you could find the radius. Now, I don't know anything about compass and a straight edge, but um, if I was just asked this question, this is how I would find out what the radius was. All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, if not, sorry. <laughs> um, I try, I do so try to be helpful and not hurtful.